come on. Downward facing dog. Yeah? No? No? Nah. All right, how was your weekend? How are you feeling? You're alive, you woke up another time. All right, which is good. You're missing the down dog down here. It's much better than any down dog I could ever do. So, all right, we got another week, we got another day. We woke up today. Notice that one really important thing, we're not dead, right? Maybe months ago you might think, oh shit, you know, if I go near people, connect with people, something might happen. But there's other ways to connect, right? Other ways to connect, to feel connected to other people, not just having to meet them physically. So maybe this week I want you to think about, as you go into your week, you move in, to reconnect with an old friend, somebody that really, you know, made you laugh, fills your spirit. If you haven't spoken to them for a while, just get in touch, right? That's what happened to me this weekend, and it was amazing to reconnect and just, you know, talk about shit, all the shit in life, the good shit, the bad shit, crazy shit, the bad shit, right? Just to reconnect and then you just, doesn't matter how far we are all apart, you realize the energy is always there connecting you to the people that you have attracted into your life to teach you something, right? So everybody in our life is a mirror that we can see a part of ourself reflected in. All right, so good morning, good morning. I think I need to ground my ass on the mat. So that means you need to ground your asses because it's my class. <laughs> yes, we've got the crazy pants on. I think I missed Pride Week, but we're doing Pride Week whenever, right? Celebrating everybody in all, each other in all our different shapes, forms, expressions of life, right? Who cares what color we are, what bloody nationality we are? You're made of the same stuff. You're just expressing your life in a way that works for you. You've got one. That's it, right? So bloody live it. To hell with everybody and what they think. Let's ground. Oh, good. I just drove here at 90 miles an hour. So I'd like to ground myself. <laughs> ah, so. I want you to just lay your body down on your mat, maybe flex the feet, spread the fingers, squeeze everything, and then just uh, let it go. Maybe closing your eyes and beginning our practice of yoga. Yoga, meaning union, meaning coming together. So in one way, coming together with each other, practicing with each other's energy, very present, coming together with your body on your mat, coming together with your spirit maybe your dogs and your pets. <laughs> and allowing the mind to just begin to switch off. Just give that mind, that incredible computer in your skull, give it something to do so it can Maybe stop thinking of all kinds of crap. Just give it something to do by focusing on your breath. So start to inhale and let your belly rise as it fills like a balloon. And let it fall as you exhale it all out through the nose.
I want you to actively just relax the toes. Inhale, relax the heels. Inhale, relax the calves. Inhale and just relax the bum. Inhale, relax the belly. Inhale, relax your shoulder blades. Inhale, relax your elbows. Inhale, the backs of your hands, your knuckles your fingers. Inhale, relax the back of your head heavy into your mat. And as you next inhale, gather all that energy in each part of the body, all together into the heart. Exhale it out through the mouth. Maybe placing your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your belly. Inhaling back into that heart, all the energy from the body right into the heart space. Exhale it out. Good, we'll do that one more time. Gathering all that energy. Exhale it out. And take a good morning stretch. Take a deep inhale, exhale, yawn it out, oh, good, drawing the knees into the chest and giving yourself a big squeeze because if you don't give yourself a squeeze of love, you might be waiting forever for somebody else to. So start with you and everybody else can benefit from that solid base of you knowing how to give yourself the love that you need, the care, the attention, just doing stuff that makes you feel good. Because when you feel good, then everybody else has a chance to get that energy from you. Exhale, just extend the feet up to the sky, just point flex the feet, wiggle them around. Good, grab behind the knees, the thighs, and just roll yourself up. Just bring the soles of the feet together, draw them into the body and take a deep inhale, reach up and exhale, just fold forward. Oh, lower back might not like that. It's all good, we're not gonna be here for long. Just relax your head. All right, we see what we've got to work with and warm up. Slowly rise, stamp the feet outside edge of your mat. Take your hands behind and just take an inhale, lift up through the chest. Mine's falling out the side of my t-shirt <laughs> by choice. Exhale, knees to the side. Take the gaze over the other shoulder. Inhale through center. So just a nice, easy windshield wiper. Come through center. You're giving yourself a nice bum massage again. If nobody in your life is going to give you a bum massage, give it to yourself. Start with you. Learn how to do all this stuff by yourself. You'll never be unhappy. All right, come back to center. Curl the heels in. Take another deep inhale. Reach up and exhale. Fold in. Bring the hands down in front of you. Just rest. Take a breath. Start to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, deep inhales, deep exhales. If you can make a little sound like you're fogging a mirror, but with your lips sealed. This is called Ujjayi breath, energy building breath, victorious breath. So when we use this practice of breath, 
We really energize and heat up the body. Slowly make your way onto all fours. So take the knees hip width apart, spread the hands underneath the shoulder, curl your toes under. Let's just take a few spinal bends, some cat cows we call them. So you drop your belly, stick your bum out, look up. But you can keep your eyes closed, suck your belly in, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin in, push your mat away. Notice in your body, all right, where it's tight, take an inhale so you always honor your body what it's trying to tell you. It's maybe trying to tell you, go back to bloody bed, what are you doing? And if it doesn't stop telling you that, just go back to bed, <laughs> lie down. <laughs> right, we often push our bodies when they don't want to be pushed. And I'm not talking about when we're just talking ourselves out of stuff, but when you feel pain, a tweak, that's a signal, that's a slap. A slight discomfort is like, hey, pay attention, breathe into me, stretch me. Notice me, be careful, be aware. Good, lift the bum high, press back into the heels and lift up into an upside down V, your first down dog of the day. So spread your fingers, you can Shake your head a little side to side. If you need to bring some movement into your body, maybe pressing back into the left heel, deeply bending the right knee. You're just kind of walking your dog. Press back. Really extend the spine long. Try to draw the heels down to the mat. And just make sure the head is released. Come high on the toes and bend the knees deep. Draw your belly down to touch your knees. So you get a great release in the upper back. Push the mat away. Draw the heels back down, lift the hips high. And slowly walk the hands back to the feet. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Grab opposite elbows and just dangle. Head is heavy, just shake it a little side to side, maybe swaying a little side to side, elbow comes round. So you're just releasing your lower back, your knees have a nice little bend in them. Just waking up gently. Just come back to your breathing, notice your breath. And just let their hands fall down in front of the toes. Bring your right hand in front of your left toes and on an inhale, reach that left hand high. You can bend your right knee a little bit, pressing back through the left heel, maybe rotate the hands round, just release your wrist, look up. A little spinal twist, exhale, bring it down. Walk the fingers over in front of the right. Soften the left knee and on an inhale, reach that right hand high to the sky. Maybe rotate the wrist. Exhale, bring the hands down. On an inhale, slowly rise up. Head and shoulders coming up last. Draw the shoulders up and back down the back. And again, take another inhale, lift them up. And exhale down the back. Connect the hands into the heart. Lower the chin, draw the belly button in. Tuck your tailbone. Reconnect to your breathing for me. Good, maybe thinking why you showed up on your mat today. What are you looking for? What does it give you? What are you connecting to inside yourself? What energy are you attracting in? That's your intention. And that can guide you through your practice, motivate you, bring you back to your mat each time. Take an inhale, reach those hands high, take the gaze high. And exhale, swan dive in, bring the chest down to the knees. 
Good. Take a halfway lift so you can lift your hands onto your shins. Press forward. Look forward. Stick your tailbone back. Exhale. Walk your hands all the way forward into a plank. Now you can come down onto your knees if you like, if you're just beginning. Draw the shoulders over the wrists and slowly lower down. Elbows right in. Hover right above the mat. Then release the toes, the legs. Draw the chest through and come halfway up. Look up. Exhale, lower down. Keeping your elbows squeezed in for dear life on another. Take another inhale, come all the way up this time. Still keeping a bend in the elbows, look up and just roll over onto one hip. So you kind of just roll over, bring the sides of your feet down, look over, soft elbows and exhale, other side. Look over. Come back to center. Curl the toes down, dog. Press back with the hands, paddle the heels and just walk your dog. So your down dog becomes your home base practice where you reconnect, come back to your breath. Come high on the toes and this time walk your feet to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, hands onto the shins, look out flat back, press back with the shoulders. Exhale, you fold in and inhale, come all the way up. Reach the hands high above the head, look up. Draw the hands through heart. Take a breath, reconnect with your breath. Next inhale, sweep hands up. Maybe take hold of your right wrist and just draw it over, up and over. So lift up, take it over to the side, press out with the hip and notice your feet rooted like really strong roots into the ground. Inhale, reach it up, lift up, change sides. Just press into the hip, then notice your feet. Inhale all the way up. Take a back bend, however that feels for you. Just drawing the shoulder blades together, gazing up. Draw the hands up together. Take an inhale and exhale, just swan dive it forward. Chest coming down. Hands on the shins, a halfway lift, look forward. Draw the shoulders back. Palms down, find your plank or all fours and take that transition, that push up, slowly down, release the toes, press through and lift up. Come all the way up this time. You can roll onto your hips. Just follow your breath, start to link your breath to your movements. Inhale, coming back through center. Curl the toes, hips high. Down dog, take three breaths. You can rearrange your feet, your hands. While I kill the mosquito that, well, I can't kill it because I'm upside down and he's run away. They just go for your bum all the time. There's too much flesh there. You're not getting into the the veins, fella. Come high on the toes, slowly walk the, the hands back to the feet. Halfway lift, look out, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, coming back down to the heart. Walk the feet together for me. Big toes touch, heels just a little bit apart. Now bend the knees, sink the hips as though you're sitting in a chair and bring the hands together above the head. Look up at your thumbs, it's called chair pose. Now just relax the bum, the tailbone, using the knees to squeeze together to get a nice, solid, solid position. Maybe you can try floating your left heel up for a moment. Keeping the gaze up at the hands, place it down, try the other leg. Now I'm squeezing my knees together to help me stay solid. I'm noticing one ankle's wobbling a bit more than the other. 
all right, that's the side I have to work on. And just notice, be aware. Drop the toe, take a little twist out to the left. So right elbow, left knee, gaze up at the ceiling. Good, inhale, come back to center. Our knees are staying squeezed, zipped in and low. Exhale, other side. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold in. Look at your knees, a halfway lift. Exhale, walk the hands into plank. Draw the shoulders forward and lower down. Release the toes. Draw through into that vinyasa flow. Exhale, curl the toes, hips high. Downward facing dog. Zip the toes together. Take an inhale and exhale, draw the heels back. On your next inhale, your right leg points to the sky. I want you to press down through that left heel. Press back through the hands. Nice, long, long energy. Curl that heel into the bum. Rotate the ankle. Spreading the fingers, pressing back through the hands. Point the toe high to the sky. And exhale, draw that right knee behind the left elbow. Draw the body forward. It's a balance, right? It's a strong move. Inhale, kick it high. Press back and exhale. Bring the foot through. Good, drop down to the back heel. Come on up to warrior number one. Lift up, dip into the front knee and lift up through the sides of the body. Gaze comes high. Take a breath. Clasping the hands behind the back. Opening out into a back bend. Give your shoulder blades a good squeeze together. Exhale, draw in. Humble warrior. Get that right shoulder to the inside of that right knee. Hands float off. Look at your belly button. Keeping the legs where they are. Lift the body up, release the hands. Right hand reaches overhead into a reverse warrior. Dip into that front knee, drawing the hips down towards the ground. Good, windmill the hands all the way to frame the front foot. Take that right foot back and take that vinyasa, drawing the shoulders over the hands. You can always drop to your knees as you build up your strength, or maybe just that's where you are. Hips high, down dog, press back. Draw the heels back. Now zip the toes together. On your next inhale, left leg high to the sky. Press back through that right heel. Open out that hip. Draw the heel into the bum. Press back. Rotate the toes. Good. Take an inhale. Point that toe to the sky. Gaze forward. Know where you're going. Bring the foot through. Drop to the back heel. And when you're ready, rise up into your warrior one shape dip into the front knee lift up through the sides of the body gaze to the fingers breathe take the hands behind the back clasp the fingers maybe clasp the other way that feels like one finger's missing draw the shoulder blades back gaze up and fold in left shoulder to the inside of that left knee, bring the hands off the back, relax the chin, gaze at your belly, keeping the legs where they are, release the hands, come on up, pressing all the way up, take that left hand up and over to the back, dip into that front leg. Windmill the hands down to frame the front foot. Left foot goes back to join the right. You slowly linking that breath, lower down. Inhale, sweep it through. Exhale, hips high. Down dog, three breaths in down dog. 
Make them deep, make them restorative. High on the toes, walk, step, float your feet to the top of your mat. We take a halfway lift as a reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Palms touch above the head. Hands come down to heart. Reconnect with the breath. Breathe. Chin in, belly button into your spine. And squeeze the bathroom muscles, tailbone tucked under. Bend the knees, sink the hips. We'll do another round. Bring the hands up. Knees are together. Relax your shoulders, maybe floating. Left heel up just for a moment. The other side, just notice how your balance is on each different side. Exhale, fold in. We'll skip the twist, we'll halfway lift. We'll palms down, feet back. Lower down, take that vinyasa. Good, hips high, down dog. And when you're ready, we zip the toes together. Next inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring it through in between the hands. Stay high on the back toe. And on an inhale, rise up into a crescent lunge. So dip into your front knee and make it a little back bend. Open out the heart. Take the gaze up to the sky. Left hand comes down to the inside. Rotate, open, dragonfly twist. Gaze up to that top hand. You can try even coming onto the knife edge of your feet. That gets you right into the hips. Good. Coming back to your dragonfly if you were on the knife edge. I want you to float that back leg up. So keeping the hand where it is, both hands where they are, float that back leg. It's called revolved half moon. Now if you're like this and just take both hands down. Try to steady your balance and then ask the hand to come out to play. Good, staying where you are. Bring that right hand down in front of the toes. Try to open out to the left now. Revolved to full half moon. Opening out the hips, opening out the chest, the shoulders. Balance, right, soften that front leg. Good, drop the back foot to the ground. Come on up and find warrior number two. So catch your breath as you come up and dip in. This warrior two, another home base posture. You know where you are with a warrior two. So steady your gaze, front middle finger, relax your shoulders, draw your belly in. Steady gaze, steady posture. Inhale, bring the hands together at top of the head, straighten the front leg, reach up. Exhale, dip in. We'll do three of these warrior dips. Inhale. Exhale, so moving with the breath. Inhale. Exhale, this time, keeping the legs straight, grab that right wrist and take it overhead, sky archer, draw the body back to the back of your mat. Just gaze at your elbow and feel that nice extension through the side body. Releasing the hands, that right elbow to the right knee, dip in and extend the opposite way. Take the gaze up, draw the hand overhead like a swimmer's stroke. Gaze at the fingers. Really reach and think about rooting down with the outside 
of that left foot. Good, take an inhale, come up to the side of your mat, open out, it's a five star. So just uh, stick it all out, show it all off. And exhale, just fold in, crown of head towards the mat, fingers come in line with the toes. Take an inhale, try to lengthen, look forward. It gets length in your spine so you can flex and fold a little more, draw the crown in. Maybe walk the hands back through the feet. Draw deeper. Take one more breath here. Good, now walk your hands to the back of the mat to frame that back foot. Frame the back foot, kick the back leg up. You're in a standing split. Maybe if you wanna play, you could practice releasing one hand, hold the ankle. Maybe both hands to the ankle, just to play. Keep your gaze steady. Beautiful, take that foot back. Take the left foot back and take your vinyasa to the back of the room. Exhale, hips high, down dog. There's a nice down dog happening beside me. <laughs> Zip the toes together. Take an inhale. Left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring it through in between the hands. Stay high on the back toe. You always just get your balance before you come up, pressing into that front foot, lifting up, right? Maybe there's some wobbles. You just... Steady yourself once the gaze rests on the fingers. You should be able to balance a little easier. Make it a little back bend. Relax your shoulders and breathe. Right hand, bring it down into dragonfly twist. Left hand stays high and just rotate open as best you can. Keeping the hands where they are, you're going to float the back leg up. Slowly, lifting the toes, lifting the foot, keeping that twist, revolved half moon. Draw your belly in. Bringing the left hand down in front of the toes for me. When you're ready and steady, now the right hand comes out to play, reaching up. Open out the hips, open out the chest to the side. It's half Moon. Good, soften the front leg, drop the back heel down. Rise on up, find that warrior two. Dip in. Gaze to the front middle finger. Draw that left knee out towards the side so it's not falling and collapsing in. Inhale, bring the hands above the head, straighten the legs. Warrior dips, look up. Exhale, dip in. Inhale, feet together, feet, hands together. That's not a good start, is it? Exhale, dip in. Good, we'll do one more. Exhale. Good, straighten the legs. Take that left wrist with the right hand. Draw it back, sky archer. Feeling a release in that left hip, that whole side body. Knee to elbow to knee. Left elbow finds left knee. Right hand extends. So the complete opposite of what we just did. Now really focus on the outside edge of the foot towards the tips of the fingers, shooting energy all the way down. Good, inhale, come up, five star. Oh, take it back, exhale, fold it in. Take three breaths, just shake the head if you want to side to side, it's your choice. How does your body feel? One more breath. You're walking your hands to frame your front foot back at the top of your mat. Kick that back leg up, it's a standing split. 
draw the body down over the leg, over the thigh, maybe play with one hand on the ankle. Try the other hand. Maybe both hands. So always options to play and see where you are. Left leg back, right leg back. Take your vinyasa. Lowering down. Sweep through, release toes. Now you can always float the knees. Curl the hips high, down dog. It's depending on the strength in your shoulders, your wrists. Your practice, your body. You're not competing against anybody. We often just compete with ourselves, right? We try to be better. You've got to be a little more gentle and listen to our bodies, not me, to your body. Next inhale, let's take right leg high to the sky. Open out the hip, bring the heel in. Maybe you want to flip your dog. So you rotate, you drop that leg behind. You can sit to your bum and use a springboard. Spring up, look up. That's it. Bring that right hand back down, corkscrew back up, foot to the ceiling. Exhale, bring it through. High on the back toe. Take your balance, come on up into that crescent lunge. Breathe. Good, left hand down, dragonfly twist. Open out. Gaze down at the floor and fly that back leg up. So draw it in slowly, invite it out to play. Other side, so bring the other hand down and open out. Left hands to the sky. Lift up, half moon. Soften the front leg, drop the back foot. You're coming into warrior two. You're gonna rise up and dip in to the front leg. Breathe, gaze to the front finger. Inhale, palms touch, look up, straighten the legs. Exhale down. We'll do three of these dips. So we're just moving with the breath in time. Inhale and exhale, linking breath to movement. That's vinyasa. Dip down. Come back up. Grab hold of that front wrist and draw the body up and over. Gaze up to your elbow. Now release that right elbow, right knee. Drawing the hand over and across. Inhale, open up, five star. So back bend, squeeze the shoulders. Exhale, fold in. Fingers in line with the toes. You can shake your head. Catch your breath. Then walk the hands to frame the back foot. Walk all the way around to the back of the mat. Last shape, kick the back leg up. It's a standing split. Draw the body in. If you want to play with your balance. Hands down, feet back. Take your vinyasa nice and slow. Remember, you could always drop to your knees. If you're getting a bit tired, just Take some of the effort out, as long as you're breathing, as long as you're moving, that's the name of the game. Hips high, down dog, you take a few breaths in this home base. Pressing back, check in, zip the toes together, you've got another leg. So inhale, left leg high to the sky. Curl that heel into the bum, if you want to flip your dog. You draw that foot over and you can sit down on your bum. Kind of take a time out, lift up, springboard up, open up, however that looks. Flipping back over nice and carefully, pointing the toe into your one-legged dog. Bring it through in between the hands. Stay high on the back toe. Inhale, come on up. 
and then take it back to a back bend. Good, right hand comes down, left hand, keep it high. Dragonfly, lift up, open out, rotate. This is where we balance, we throw that back leg up to the sky. We don't throw it, we gently invite it up. Oy. Good, left fingers in front of left toes. Right hand opens up to the side. Half moon. Lift the leg, open out. Soft in the front leg. Back leg comes down, heel comes down. Rise up to your warrior two. You're back here. Dip in. Gaze front middle finger, relax your shoulders. Inhale, straighten the leg, hands above the head, look up. Exhale, we'll do three. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, dip in. I can't even count to three. It's all good. When you straighten your leg, take that left wrist, draw it up and over towards the back foot. Release, elbow to knee. So it's exactly where your body wants to go. Reach up and over. Good, open out, five star. Take a back bend, look up, shoulders. Exhale, fold in. Relax the head, maybe sway side to side. One more breath. Come all the way, walk the hands to frame the front foot, bring the feet around. And when you're ready, one hand either side of the foot, kick up that back leg, standing split. Draw the body in, look at your knee. Maybe play with your balance. Good, frame the foot, one foot back, other foot back. Draw the shoulders over, take your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep it through. Exhale, hips high, down dog, paddle your heels. Take an inhale, come on the toes. Exhale, drop the knees down. Come on to all fours. Toes are curled under, knees hip width apart. Take an inhale and reach your left hand high above your head. Open out, twist. Exhale, thread it through. Bring the shoulder down towards the knee. Side of the head to the mat. And again, inhale, open out. Exhale, thread it through. We'll do one more. Open out. Thread it through. This time, leave it there, but bring that shoulder as close as you can to the opposite knee. Right hand finding its way into the crease of your left hip. Turn your palm out so you're opening out your shoulder. Maybe you wish to float your right leg back out. I'll move a bit further forward so you can see, if you need to see. So just press the toe into the mat. Maybe you can even play with floating that leg up. So you're drawing your belly in, strengthening your core. And if it's not happening for you, you're still getting a great shoulder release each side. Slowly lower the knee back down. Release the wrap. And unthread that hand. Open out. Gaze up. Exhale. Bring it down. You can shake your tail a little bit. Left to right. Coming back to center and stillness. Next inhale. Right hand. Open out. Look up. A little spinal twist, exhale, thread the needle. Bring your cheek down, bring the shoulder 
Oy, all the way through. See, sound effects are free. Inhale, open up. Exhale, thread through. One more time. Just when you were getting comfortable. Exhale, thread through. Hold it there, good. Really get that shoulder in towards the knee. Lift the hips high. Maybe taking the left hand, wrapping it around till you find the hip. Open out the shoulder towards the ceiling. You're kind of rolling onto the back of the head as well. Now you decide whether you want to play and extend. It's your left leg. Maybe you want to play with floating. I often find I fall over on one side. And it's all good. You're just playing, making shapes, breathing, having a good time with yourself, you deep down in there. Oy, bring it down nice and slow. We get out the way we come in. We unwrap. We unthread. We open up. Oy, oh, we bring the hands down. We take the knees to the outside edge of the mat. We bring the toes together. And we sit our bum back down to our heels, extend the hands out. Child's pose. Crown, forehead down to the mat. Take 10 deep breaths here. And just rest. Slowly rise. We took about 12 there, because if you know me, you know I change my mind and go with how I feel, as opposed to what we're supposed to do. <laughs> it's kind of served me through life. I haven't got arrested yet. So, yet, I say. Slowly, just walk the bum up. Bring your hands onto your knees. Time to get down onto your back. Slowly, slowly lowering. Oh. Ow. I tie my hair back and then I land on the lump of the hair tie. Good. So get comfy. Bring the hands down by your sides. Maybe walk the heels into the body. And just breathe. Next inhale. Slowly start to lift the tailbone all the way up into bridge pose. So shimmy the shoulders in. See if you can clasp the hands underneath the tailbone because it gives you a little firmer base. So I'm up here, I grab, walk my shoulders in, clasp my hands, I keep my chin exactly where it is, right? So you should start moving your head when you're up here. It's not good for your neck, your cervical spine area. Walk the toes in together, toe heel, knees together, press up a little more. Maybe lifting the right foot up to the sky, just a little more strength work. Press through that left heel and you'll feel that quad really firing, point flex, the toe, lift the hips high. Good, release the hands. Drop that heel onto the knee, keeping the, lift, the hips lifted high. 
and slowly lower down. Let's take a breath. Catch your breath and slowly start to draw that left leg in towards the body. So your heel, your ankles crossed over. See if you can reach, thread the needle and find the shin, the underneath the knee. And if that's too far and you're kind of struggling, just grab behind the thigh. Oh gosh, that's a nice deep hip release. I use the word nice because that's like a weak word. Oh, that's nice. Our school teacher used to yell at us if we ever used the word nice in an essay in English. He goes, nice? What's nice? That's weak. And then they slapped us with a cane. No, they didn't, but they just yelled at us all the time and put us in detention. Breathe. So you're either holding your shin or behind the thigh, clasping the hands. It's pigeon on your back. It's like lazy pigeon, chilled pigeon, much better pigeon. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, release the hands, keep the ankle where it is. Hands out by the sides, like aeroplane wings. Lower the heel down and just draw the knees all the way over to the left. So the same direction as that top leg. Draw it all the way across. You get a really nice spinal twist here. Turn your head in the opposite direction. And then let the shape settle. It might be a little bit of twitching as you find your edge. So you find your edge, that level where it kind of bites and just breathe into it and try and find stillness. Slowly bringing the head back to center. Draw the knees back across. Uncross the ankles, squeeze the knees into the chest. Rock a little left to right for me. <laughs> this side. Too hot out there for you silly boy. Bring the feet onto the mat. Walk the toes, heels in together. Ah, oh, thank you. Draw the heels towards the body. Slowly start to press the heels into the mat and lift the tailbone. Lifting up into your bridge. Shimmy the shoulders together. Maybe clasping the hands underneath the tailbone. Lifting higher. Good, maybe. Now, left toes, reach towards the sky, pressing up, point flex the toes, rotate the ankle. You're just firing up that right quad. Crossing the ankle on top of that right knee, draw the knee out, lift up, and slowly lower down. Release the hands and draw that thigh in towards the body. You can start off with holding the back of the thigh or maybe reaching and interlacing the fingers on top of the knee. Take a deep breath in and relax into this weird shape. <laughs> you can close your eyes if you like. We'll be here for a few breaths and a few more after that. Try and relax and release that hip. Mm -hmm. 
slowly release the foot keep the ankle crossed extend the hands out palms face up take an inhale and slowly draw both knees over to the right take your gaze over the left shoulder your spinal twist on this side Drawing the knees back through center, uncrossing the ankle. Give yourself a squeeze, knees in towards the chest. Maybe extending the feet to the ceiling, opening out the legs and slide the hands up the inside. That sounds like a good time, but it's the opposite direction. Grab the outside edge of the feet and draw the knees in towards the armpits. Happy baby. Maybe some of you have a happy baby. Do you remember when you were a happy baby? Before all the stuff of life came in to ruin it. <laughs> or maybe not. Moments, right? Moments of good shit, moments of bad shit. Pain in the butt stuff like the crest of a wave rises and falls, rises and falls, rises and falls, highs and lows, and then you get smashed into shore and it's all over. So get as many crests as you can. Try and get a, well, at least one a day. Slowly draw the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to fall apart, maybe Hand to the heart, maybe one hand to the belly and reconnect. Maybe remembering why you showed up on your mat today. Slowly when you're ready, extending your legs long, your hands out by your sides, coming into final, final resting shape. Take a deep inhale in through the nose and exhale it out, let it go and just relax.
take a soft inhale, a soft exhale. Slowly coming back into your body. Maybe touching fingers to your thumbs. Maybe wiggling your toes. Taking a good morning stretch. And hugging your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Oy. <laughs> Find your way onto your side. And just rest a moment. You get to wake up now into new body into your day starting your day over differently with a different energy every time you practice yoga it's giving you a gateway 